welcome to Backyard Bows. Hey, welcome to Backyard Bows. I'm Brandon. Today we got the Escalate by Bear Archery. We've done several bear archery bows this past year. There's always so many on their website. So like I always go through there and try to figure out which ones I want to review. And I think I overlooked this one in the beginning because now that it's in house, I think I should have done it probably a little sooner. I think it's the best kind of mid range bow that bear has put out. A lot of the budget bows that we've reviewed are in that 500, 550 range price range. And then you have the flagship ones like the Refine, which I absolutely loved. And I think was probably one of the most underrated bows that we've had in here. It surprised me more than any other bow. The quality, the draw was so smooth. Um, I loved the Refine. And then you have this Escalate, which is has some of those flagship features and it's right in there, really nicely priced at around $750. So let's jump right into the specs. We got 31 inches axle to axle, a uh, perfect six and a half inch brace height. It's right around four pounds. Uh, I got it at 70, it fluctuates all the way down to 55. Uh, on the draw weight, draw length is 25 out to 30 on these Echo cams, which we've seen several times uh, on the Whitetail Legend Pro and then the Refine. I love those. They have a really cool let off system, which we've talked a lot about lately. And we'll kind of go over that in a second. This riser is probably one of my favorites from Bear Archery that we've seen yet. Uh, I love the olive color. They had this other camo that I liked. It was Veil Whitetail. Um, I went with the olive. I think this is just a, an awesome looking bow. I got it decked out in Trophy Ridge as it should be. Um, but the riser is really nice and clean, solid. Those dampeners that we see, those that kind of vibration reduction system is, is located in there on the inside of that riser. Then they have the blocks and then the ones on the strings all working in sync. The Refine, I remember just being one of the cleanest shot cycles and I'm sure it has a little bit to do with these kind of well-placed dampeners. The limb pockets are a little beefed up, a little bit nicer. Got a nice liner on the inside with that wedged limb. Uh, and then even the string stop and the cable guard are just a little nicer of quality and I think that factors into that price. The one thing that's a hair different is the cable guard on the Refine had a ball bearing and roller system. Same mechanism where this is kind of rotating forwards and backwards, which I think is what factored into the smoothness of that shot on the Refine. But this has a plastic piece that slides um, instead of that roller on those ball bearings. But, but same mechanism where that is allowed to shift. And I think that's going to play into that draw cycle a lot. So the, so the Echo Cams, I love, and I, I've loved them on every bow. I think they're an extremely smooth drawing bow for the speeds they get. 340 or 339, 340 is kind of right in there on the higher speed of all the bows by Bear. They have a really easy module adjusting system. And then the let off system, they have a video on their website, which I think explains it really well. It's not self-explanatory. So if you just try to listen to somebody tell you about it, you're like, what? <clears throat> and then you kind of go back, watch the video a couple times, mess around with it, self-check yourself. And then you kind of realize how it maneuvers. That string stop rotates forwards and backwards. It has an arrow on it, which either points to a positive or a negative side. That included with quarter inch increment adjustments on your module will give you a 75, 80, 85, and 90. But that's something you might have to tinker with a little bit. Man, I'm excited to shoot this. I say this every time, but we've been kind of blessed with another perfect day outside. Uh, I always mention that because we want to shoot these bows as much as we can. Uh, and when it's nice like it is outside today, I'm going to shoot this thing an absolute ton, uh, especially if it draws anything like that refined. So the grips on these, huh, it's like the one thing I'm, I'm going to, I, I can't stand the grips. Uh, they call them a Grizz grip. It's just a really slippery piece of plastic. If I was to hunt with this, I would immediately tape that up. I just don't prefer them. I, I, it's, a, it's a nice thickness, shape, angle, all of that. But then this plastic, it's like probably the slipperiest plastic piece on there. And there's a couple grips that you can kind of swap out, but that one I do not like. Uh, this cable guard on the Refine, and this one's a little bit different, but on the Refine, I think it is very unique in the way that it's designed, but I think it's one of the best cable, cable guards on the market. And I know a lot of people don't talk about that, but I think that has a ton to do with how smooth your draw cycle is. But let's go ahead, let's sling a couple. So, I mean, pretty smooth on the draw, just like the Refine. Uh, I mean, it, it may be a little stiffer pull. <clears throat> it is getting some nice speeds at 340 on the IBO. It balances really nice. It does have a little vibration in your hand. Uh, I would say without 
turning it on, it's probably on the louder side, maybe in the 92s, maybe what we'll see, but it balances really nice. The draw cycle is nice and linear, has a little bit of kind of hump at the end, but not bad. And then, man, I mean, I, uh, the shot cycles, I mean, I, I can't wait to get outside and, and see how the arrows are coming off of this thing, but it feels really good. Uh, yeah, I would say it, it does have a good little kick to your hand. You can definitely feel it in that, in that grip hand. But I like the draw cycle, a little stiffer than the refine. Uh, and then again, I feel like it has that snap, kind of nice and n nice snap to it. Uh, but I like the draw. I think for the speeds this is going to get, this is a really nice little whitetail hunting bow. I mean, this is just for the price. Again, when we factor everything in and kind of taking everything into consideration, 750 bucks, almost everything on it is as of flagship quality. I mean, this thing is solid. It looks good. Uh, Last one, and then we'll step outside. Yeah, I like the balance on it too. It does have a little vibration in your hand though. So onto the freestyle shoot. I'm in a t-shirt. It's mid January. It's mid February. I can't believe uh, we have such a nice day here. So we're going to shoot in a, a whole bunch. We'll shoot some from here, the gazebo. Uh, we'll really get after it today and sling some through this. So right here we have a board. 30, two bucks at 35. I really like how this holds. The shot cycle is not the cleanest. Uh, and what I mean by that is you can just feel it. Uh, you know, and I, I went back, uh, the timing is as, I think as good as I could get it. Um, it does have this really kind of vibration sound to it, which you can also feel in your hand. Uh, but it holds really nice at full draw. I think I changed it from 85 to 80% 80 let off. Uh, and that's where it kind of felt the best to me. Smoothed out that draw cycle a little bit and it still had a really nice back wall to it. Um, when this thing sets up for the being such a short axle to axle, it has a really nice balance, balance to the bow. I think, uh, I think it's probably one of the best weighted proportionate bows. And sometimes you can just feel that in your hand even without shooting. It just has a really nice proportionate weight to it. Uh, some want to just topple over because they're top heavy. Other ones you feel like you got to stack the weight you know, on the stabilizer down here to kind of get it to, to, to level out for you in full draw. But this one just seems to be really, really nice. I really like this. So I'm sure most of you are like me and have like that spot where you just love shooting from, you love the targets that are in front of you. I mentioned this in the Rhino Block uh, review is I love shooting at 3D targets or something that looks realistic. I cannot shoot at a block with dots on it, um, you know, maybe to help me sight in, but something in my daily reps, I gotta be shooting it at, at realistic targets. So we have a ton of 3D targets going from 20 starting with the turkey all the way up to 50 at the elk and we will shoot at all of them a whole bunch. We'll start here on that 20 and we'll make a little climb up those 3D targets at five yard increments. And, and again, I don't, I'm not ever sure if you can hear it on the camera, uh, but the first thing you wanna do when you do hear that kind of vibration type sound, uh, you know, you check your timing, make sure everything is locked down as tight as you can get it, that there's nothing loose on the bow. Uh, you know, you kind of double check everything and still, this still has kind of a, uh, kind of a, a really, really harsh sound to it, but we'll kind of see how loud that is once we get inside. So we've got coyote at 25. Now we'll go to that buck at 30. I love the draw really similar to the refined, uh, which I really, really liked. Something else I, I like on the front of this grip, it has that kind of indentation for your fingers. I kind of like that. Uh, 
it kind of helps you know remind you kind of where your finger placement should be the actual grip itself the changeable part that's like what i don't like but again some of that kind of stuff is so easy to fix grip tape something like that uh, and they even have other ones you can change it out to but let's go to the gray wolf at 35. I'll tell you what, the arrows are coming off of here nice, even though the shot cycle doesn't seem to be as clean as I would like. I'm going to say, I think this is my favorite bow from Bear to date. You got flagship quality, durability. Um, I can't wait to see what it gets in the chronograph. You know, the, the entire bow is, is a really nice bow. I love the riser. I love the olive cover. This thing just looks, just set it up like it is right now. It just looks awesome. I know that doesn't factor in, but it's something that we all consider. Uh, and then for the price tag, you know, again, we talk about this, but in an economy like it is right now, $250, that's a ton. You know, that's a lot to save uh, and to still feel like you have flagship quality. So let's set up on that um, Black Bear at 40, and then we'll do that full draw stall, which I feel like as of now, I'll be able to hold this for a long time. Uh, it feels really nice and full draw. Let's shoot one more at that black bear. I love that black bear target. All of the larger Reinhardt targets are just so realistic, real sized. I love them. But uh, all right, so now we'll do a full draw stall on Paddington. We got one minute and then uh, one well-placed shot on the little black bear. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I, I love the hold. I love the hold, I love the draw cycle. I love everything up until the shot cycle. I, I can go back in and tweak with it a little bit, but um, you know, just to see if I can't get rid of that somehow, but man, that's just a, and I know you know what I'm saying, it's just that vibration sound like an echoing uh, shot cycle, you know, sound after that arrow comes off. But again, if that's my only uh, complaint, we'll see how loud that actually is once we get the decibel reader. But let's go ahead, we'll go up to the elk at 50. All right, so I got four arrows. We'll shoot four arrows at that elk. Uh, it's crazy after I started doing this, just once you really start digging, <clears throat> I mean, there's companies we haven't even done yet. So we, we don't even have a bow in from Martin. Um, we only have one in from Expedition, one in from Obsession. I mean, there's so many bows out there. Uh, and again, that's kind of the reason why we started this, just because I was a consumer customer myself. And I was like, man, there's so much on the market. And then once I dived in and we started doing these reviews, then you really realize, oh my God, there's so many bows. Just with bare archery, there's 26 bows online. I I'm so surprised I looked past this. This is just a great bow for the price. I mean, just a it's fun to shoot. Uh, it's a breeze to shoot. It, it was really simple and easy to set up right from the beginning, just shooting really well with it. I and mean, it's just one of those bows. It's like, man, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get my hands on this in the beginning. So we'll shoot a couple on that elk up, up at 40 or 50. Mm, hard shot. We go some lungs. Now try to split them. I mean, this thing is just, again, I still hear that sound. Uh, not sure where it's coming from, but uh, it's the only thing about it I don't like as of right now and the grip. I think I found out what the noise is. When this rotates back after a shot, these strings are actually hitting that part right there. And I didn't notice it until I started seeing the little rubs from the strings. But I think that's where that noise is coming from. I don't know how that's, obviously that's not good long run. I'm sure it's gonna wear on that cable right there, but that's definitely where that noise is coming from. The front of the grip I like, the back of the grip I don't like. <sighs> All right, this thing is, it's firing. This is nice. I wish we would have had it early. We could have done a giveaway with this thing. This would have been a, a fun bow to give, give to somebody that was, that was needing something nice. 
good quality, good performing, but just didn't have enough money to get themselves it. I, I would love to give that away, but let's go inside. We'll run into that speed test. We'll do the sound test. So speed test. We do all the tests that we factor into the grading with the exact same spec. 70 pounds, 80% let off, 30 inch draw. I got the first arrow that will shoot of the three, which is a 300 spine full metal jacket that weighs right at 500 grains. Uh, so it gets three, four, 339 on an IBO. So that's 283. Again, if you watch my videos and keep up with me, 280s is perfect. That's a really nice heavy arrow that's gonna get you some great penetration, bring some good kinetic energy, and it is right at 280 feet per second. That's 281. We're gonna shoot a third one. If it stays in the 280s, that's where it'll be. If it bounces under 280, we'll shoot a couple more and take the average, but I think it's gonna stay right in there. Two eighty-five. So it gets the eight out of the ten for the speed test, and so now we have here we have a four hundred grain full metal or four hundred spine full metal jacket um, that weighs about four hundred forty grains, and then we added a brass insert to a three hundred spine full metal jacket, and that bumped that up to five fifty-five. So we got a couple bonus arrows here. We'll give you a little bit of variety uh, of arrow grain weight. So that's three hundred. I'm just gonna leave that right at that. 300 for the 440 grain, which is probably more of the average whitetail hunter weight. And then we got a uh, 555 grain, 271. So man, all of these, honestly, perfect arrow speeds. I love the feet per second on that bow. Uh, nice and quick. You can feel it in your hand a little bit, but the way that thing was shooting, man, I think, um, I love the specs on this all around. So we'll shoot three arrows for the sound. We'll take the average of the three. We got the graph reader on the phone. We have the visual up here on the wall. I'm gonna shoot uh, with no stabilizer on, no, you know, anything that can dampen that sound. This is just the bow. Uh, we'll do three shots. 90.4, so I, uh, I was wrong. And again, that's why we're doing this. Uh, my initial assessment that this maybe was louder and what I was hearing uh, would be magnified on the decibel reader, but it's not. That's kind of right in there at some of those first bows that we did that were fairly quiet. So 90.7, uh, I was thinking maybe 92 or above. The last week I think was the loudest bow we did. Um, and it was the Edge 320 that was at like 94. So. 90.7, that's awesome. So it's, that's kind of right in there with the era, the basin, some of those other bows we did, the VTM uh, kind of averaged right in there in the middle. So to start, uh, we changed one more thing on the grading system and I wanted to do it before we got too deep into the season. And I think we're still early enough where it's not gonna factor in that much. But the bonus points, so at the end we give some makeup points. Uh, it was anything under a thousand, you get three extra makeup points, thousand to fifteen hundred you get two and then over fifteen hundred you get one and then i realized like man if you're spending more than fifteen hundred dollars you don't get any makeup points that bow should be top notch um so what we did is we did five hundred and under you get three makeup points five hundred to a thousand you get two makeup points and a thousand to fifteen hundred you get to make up one and that's more of just if i was to be critical and it was and it's my opinion was extra critical it would just get to make up some bonus points um and that's kind of why we factored that in there and obviously the price is a big part of this if you get um, a little bit less on everything else, but you're paying under $500. It deserves a couple makeup points, uh, a couple bonus points. So that's the last change that we're going to make this year, I promise. So Bear Escalate, man, this thing was sl sleeping on me. I, uh, I've i been on that Bear website so many times trying to figure out which bows we were going to do. And, <clears throat> and I think this one just somehow went right under my radar because this is my favorite Bear Archery bow to date. And I loved the Refine and I still do, but for $250 less, this is as equally as good as a bow. I mean, it, it, everything on it is, um, you know, top notch, which we'll talk about the quality grade here in a second, but it has those echo cams uh, from top to bottom. This thing as is a flagship bow or is as a flagship bow. So off the bat, 283, 285, eight out of 10 for the speed. Um, 
I gave it a eight out of 10 for the quality as well. Like I said, this thing is, it was teetering eight to seven, but I went ahead and gave it the eight because man, to be honest, everything on this bow is kind of this premium bear archery uh, hardware and accessories and stuff like that. So <clears throat> uh, I gave it a nine out of 10 for the appeal. I love the way this thing looks. This is my favorite bow from bear archery looks as well as uh, kind of performance quality, taking everything into consideration but just just looks alone this thing is awesome this riser is really nice and clean uh, i love the shape of it everything about this bow to me is appealing i love the color i, I really wanted to see that veil <coughs> whitetail that i mentioned earlier in person which maybe i will but that was something that looked cool online too technology i gave it a seven uh, i did like that you are able to adjust that let off um, those four positions. I also like that it has a 15 pound fluctuation on the draw weight. Uh, I think that's important. The more I shoot, the more I lessen my draw weight in the off season. Uh, I just shoot so much. It's really nice to kind of bump that down, sometimes even right below 60, just to keep getting my reps in. Or if I have some kind of in injury, I start getting strained somewhere, um, just to be able to keep shooting. It's really nice to be able to take your bow and drop that weight. Uh, seven out of 10 there. And I gave it a nine, uh, I gave it an eight out of 10 for performance. I think this was one of the better shooting bows from Bear Archery. I think, again, I think I wanted to kind of teeter that nine. I shot so well with it from the beginning. Uh, I mean, just right from the get go, like sometimes bows, you just pick them up and you're like, man, this feels good. And you just start stroking other ones. You kind of have to kind of adjust a little bit. And maybe by the end of a full day of shooting, you're shooting those those groups like you want. But right from the beginning, I was placing shots exactly where I wanted them with this with little effort as possible. Um, so all around, I got a 40 out of 50 times that by two, you get the 80, get the two extra makeup points for being between 500 and 1,000 around 750. So 82 overall, I think that's a great rating for this bow. Uh, if you were somebody who has maybe a thousand dollar budget, and, and that's kind of like with accessories and everything, and you just want you know to get in the field for no more than a thousand dollars. This could be one of the best bows for that budget. Um, you have a little wiggle room around 250 bucks to kind of to find some accessories, um, or maybe you have a couple and want to purchase a couple more to add on to it. I think this bow is just a fantastic bow for the price. So um, if you found anything in this bow review helpful to you and your bow buying process, make sure you subscribe to YouTube. We have tons of bows that we already have out. We have tons to come, different episodes of the Basic Bowman series. Uh, we're starting to get into accessory and gear reviews. Um, Man, we we're just beginning. So we have so much in the works. There's so much in editing. Subscribe, check it out, get what's next. Instagram, make sure you follow along. That's where we're gonna give the updates of what comes next. Don't buy a bow off a single bow review. Get into a bow shop, get tons of bows in your hand. It is a hunter's market. There's so much out there. Such good quality across the board. We're gonna start seeing more and more of just this competitive bow you know, market that we're in. Uh, I I'm surprised every time we get a new bow in here, uh, especially with this one. How did this even, you know, how did I miss this one? Above all, get your reps in on the daily. We'll see you next weekend. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, leave us a comment. I love interaction. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have so much more to come. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook for updates of anything else that we're going to review. If there's something that you're interested in, hit those links below and check them out. And make sure no matter what your setup is, what bow you're shooting, get your reps in on the daily. We'll see you next week.